Friday. Naomi and Sherry? All right, yep, Sherry Lowe is here. We're talking about whether to fix or buy new. It's a question we often face, and when an expensive home appliance or maybe your car stops working like it should, what do you do? Sometimes it is worth it to just shell out the cash and replace it. But how do you know? That's why Sherry's here. She answers all of our important life questions, and today we're talking about whether it is worth it to really just buy it from scratch or do a repair. Right, exactly. And you know, sometimes we're just not sure if we should go ahead and bite the bullet or not. Maybe the washing machine is making a funny mm -hmm. noise. Should we have it checked out? Should we replace it? What should we do? So that's what we're going to try to answer, filtering through five questions you need to ask yourself. Okay, first question to ask. Is it necessary? Mm. So, yes, you need to replace your car if it's a danger to you, your kids, your family, the other people on the road. But probably not a need to replace it if you just want comfier seats and a moonroof. <laughs> so asking that question first, is it necessary for me to replace this item? Can I go without it? Something minor like a microwave may not be a necessity if you already have an oven and a stove. But it could be if that's your only source of heating up food. And then you say to ask people in your life who know a thing or two. Yes, exactly. And so this might be people within your immediate circle, friends, family, your spouse. But it also might be a repair expert, too. Ask someone who is wise, who knows what they're talking about. Get a professional quote or two or three mm -hmm. to make sure that you're getting the best deal and the absolute, you know, best plan of action for your finances. And of course, you always have to think about whether or not you even have the money in your budget to buy it new. Right. This is why emergency funds are so important. And even beyond an emergency fund, I often advise people to set up what I would call a sinking fund for cars, homes, home appliances, because it's not a question of if you're going to need to replace those things someday, but you will eventually mm -hmm. because everything wears out. And so you need to get a good handle on how much is in the bank before you set that budget of what you're going to spend. All right, your next tip, Sherry, is one I don't know if I could do, but maybe you can fix it yourself? You might be able to. So if you sit in any waiting room, I feel like you'll see a hundred different reno shows mm -hmm. about how easy it is to put in a new backsplash and to replace the floor and all those sorts of things. The couples look like they're having so much fun. <laughs> Are they? But, yes, right? It's all cut. But, <laughs> but you know, for some of us, that's not the best choice. If you're going to end up making five or six trips to the home repair store in one day, if you're going to uncover more problems that lead to more repairs, it might be a better mm -hmm. idea not to do it yourself. However, if you do have that skill set, dive in, go for mm -hmm. it, save those extra dollars. And finally, really crunching the numbers and figuring out if it's worth spending now or continuously paying for right. the fixes. So, you know, some things are going to cost you more money in the long run. So choosing to pay the upfront dollars right now to fix your brakes so that they don't go out when you're on 465 <laughs> is a really good idea. So I know it hurts in the short term, but asking that question of what will this cost me in the long term if I don't choose to do this right now. We had to trim a tree recently, mm -hmm. a very expensive process but it's better than having a limb in our living room while we're watching Netflix. So, you know, you want right. to be sure that you choose wisely about how you're spending and calculate that long-term risk. All right, always the best advice from our Queen of Free, Sherry Lowe. Thank you so much for joining us. We always post her blog and links to all of her information on our website at WTHR.com. Sherry, thank you. Thank you.